conscious word, just the way you say it. If you think Jesus did these things by his own strength, your eyes are going to be set on your own strength. Because right? mm -hmm. he's a human being, and look what he did, and he did it through his own strength. You're also a human being, therefore that must mean you're going to do it through your own strength too. You just got to have enough discipline to do it. Right. It speaks a subconscious word. But you know what else speaks a subconscious word? When you say that Jesus received strength, Jesus didn't resist temptation by his own strength. He didn't use his willpower to resist temptation. He received strength from the spirit of truth. He received strength from the spirit of life. And that spirit that was in him strengthened him in the inner man and caused him to overcome temptation. Now, even when we just describe it like that, it speaks a subconscious word to our hearts. You know what it says? It says that there's this spirit of truth that did this to Jesus. And then we start thinking, well, if this spirit of truth did this thing to Jesus, then let me look at the spirit of truth. Next thing you know, subconsciously, your heart is inquiring into the spirit of truth instead of looking on your own ability. And guess what will happen to you if your heart gets set on the spirit of truth? The same freaking thing that happened to Jesus. And it won't be by your strength. And see, the only Jesus was cognizant. When things came against him and he felt pressed in on, when he felt weakness, the spirit that he had his heart set on would come in and say, Jesus, your sufficiency to go to the cross is not of you and yourself, but <coughs> of God. Jesus, your sufficiency to have life is not of that flesh that you have right now, but it's of the spirit of the everlasting God. And you see, even when he felt weakness, that spirit would come and strengthen him and cause him to be able to do what he felt the weakness in his flesh to do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That spirit. And so if we could start describing what God did to Jesus, we would see there's something that did this to Jesus. What is it? Huh. Let's, have, let's, let's get our eyes set on the thing that did this to Jesus. Next thing you know, we're dancing with the spirit of life. Amen. And we're, our eyes are set on the spirit of life. Just like Jesus' eyes were set on the spirit of life. We know what the spirit of life will do inside of a human being because we've seen it in Jesus. You see how subtle that is, but how powerful it can be? 